Hello Rail Lovers, welcome back to Railways Explained. Today, for one more time, we speak about the worst train accidents. This time, we discuss selected group of catastrophic train accidents that happened in Asia in previous 10 years. Just to remind you, this is already the third video in this series, and in previous two, we already covered the catastrophic train accidents in Europe and United States of America. If you didn't, check out those videos and then come back to this one. Also, if you like our content, help us reach more people by subscribing to Railways Explained and turn on notification bell if you don't want to miss any of our future videos. Now, if you're ready to join investigation of some of the worst railway accidents in Asia, let's start with the first one. The first in the row is Jnaneshwari Express train derailment, one of the world's worst train accidents in the last few decades. It happened on 28th May 2010 in West Midnapur district of West Bengal in India. Running between Mumbai and Kolkata across the country, this super deluxe express train connected two important metropolitan areas, covering the total distance of almost 2000 kilometers or 1200 miles. Anyway, on that sad day, one hour after the midnight, something happened that none of the passengers expected. A catastrophic and deadly derailment. Regarding the cause of the accident, at first, it was disputed whether a sabotage or a bomb caused the train to derail. Subsequent investigation confirmed preliminary conclusions, bearing in mind that a 46 cm segment of rail track was found to be missing, and in addition some of the fish plates were intentionally loosened. One small remark here for those who are not familiar with rail terminology. A fish plate, splice bar or joint bar is the element of rail infrastructure in shape of a metal bar that is bolted to the ends of two rails in order to join them together in a continuous track. Now back to the accident. West Bengal State Police stated that Maoist Naxalites and Indian far-left communist movement claim responsibility for this derailment. On the other side, spokesmen of some Nexalite fractions denied any involvement in this event, or even redirected accusations to some other Nexalite fractions. As part of investigation of this accident, state police arrested few members of these groups, while some of them have in addition been killed. In any case, that goes beyond railways explained, so we decided not to discuss it in more depth. What we didn't mention is the fact that after 13 wagons from the train derailed, as if it wasn't enough, the approaching freight train also hit derailed wagons. In this accident at least 148 people lost their lives, while more than 180 have been injured. The Petarukan train collision occurred on 2nd October 2010 at Petarukan station in Pemalang Regency of Central Java in Indonesia, when two intercity trains collided with each other. The accident involved Argo Bromo, the highest business class train which had 336 passengers on board, and the Senjo Tama Samarang business train which carried 663 passengers. The location of the crash was a fourth station track in Petarukan station. The reconstruction of the event looks like this. The Argo Bromo train was supposed to pass the slower Sanjo Tama Samarang train on the third station track. While this train was waiting to be passed at station's fourth track, Argo Bromo train passed a danger red signal and entered the occupied fourth track, thus causing a rear end collision. In one of the previous videos, we explained some basic concepts of rail signaling, which might be helpful for understanding these kinds of accidents caused by the failure of signaling safety system. Anyway, this collision caused three wagons to derail and overturn, while 36 people died and another 50 were injured. It was the deadliest rail accident in Indonesia since Bintaro train crash on October 1987, in which 156 people lost their lives. 
Also after this crash, a rear end buffer car, which can be a baggage car, power car or just an empty passenger coach, became mandatory for every locomotive drone passenger train in Indonesia. On 23rd July 2011, two high-speed trains traveling on Yong Taiwan railway line collided on a viaduct in the suburbs of Wanzhou in China. This accident involved two China Railway high-speed trains, D3115 which carried 1,072 passengers and D301 which carried 558 people. The train D301 crashed the rear end of the train D3115. What is interesting, the official report for this accident has been changed at least three times, including the cause of the accident. In the first version of the report, the lightning struck the first train, which caused the train to stop. Then in the second one it was said that the lightning struck the overhead line, and finally in the third one the cause of the accident was determined to be the incorrect indication of occupation of railway line. Namely, the first train, D3115, has been stopped by the signaling system. At the same time, the lightning struck a trackside signal assembly, burning out its feces, even though the high-speed signaling system was considered to be a fail-safe. This caused an incorrect indication in the control center that the track section where D3115 was is unoccupied. Then the train driver of D3115, after more than 7 minutes of waiting, started moving again. As D3115 entered the next section of track, where the track circuits were working correctly, the control center was now able to see the train. But unfortunately, train driver of D301 had already been given instructions to proceed into the section where D3115 was only a few moments earlier. Despite the instruction from the control center to proceed with caution, Less than 30 seconds later, D301 running at 99 km per hour, which is 62 miles per hour, collided with D3115. The 15th and 16th coach at the rear end of D3115 and the front four coaches of D301 derailed, while four coaches fell off the viaduct. Out of these four, three coaches came to rest horizontally on the ground, while the fourth came to rest vertically leaning on the construction of the viaduct. This collision killed 40 and injured 192 people. Being the first of its kind, this accident had a profound impact on the future development of high-speed railways in China. Public confidence in high-speed rail eroded, resulting in fewer numbers of passengers using the service. While this accident has been under investigation, the construction of high-speed rail lines in China was temporarily suspended and the speeds on other major high-speed railway lines have been reduced. On that 20th November 2016, the silence of the peaceful night near a small town of Pukrayan in Uttar Pradesh in India was broken by the wails of hapless victims. Namely, a train traveling from Indore to Patna derailed, resulting in at least 150 deaths and more than 150 injuries. This is the deadliest train accident in India since 1999, when in the Geysal train disaster 290 people lost their lives. Although 14 coaches went off the tracks and two of them climbed atop each other, the cause of this accident was at first unknown. Then, on the same year, another train derailed on 28th December, only 50 kilometers from Pukrayan. Both accidents were thought to be caused by fractured tracks. Then, in January next year, after the deliberately damaged track was found on time to avoid third derailment, three suspects have been arrested for placing a bomb on rail tracks. This group have also been connected with the first two derailments in this area, and according to police officers, although no evidence of explosives have been found in connection with the first two derailments, an audio recovered from one of the suspect's cell phone suggested they were involved. Also, some theories can be found on internet, which says these derailments might be sabotaged by a shadowy terror network based out of India.
in Nepal and Pakistan. However, in October 2018, the National Investigation Agency of India decided not to file a charge for this case as there was no confirmed indication of any sabotage or explosion during the accident. On 31st October 2019, the Pakistan's railway Tazgam passenger train caught fire while travelling from Karachi to Rawalpindi. The train was carrying 933 people, out of which 207 were in three wagons that were devastated by fire. Even though 75 victims died jumping out of the moving train, it was reported that the train did not stop until 20 minutes after the fire broke out. In this accident, 57 people burned beyond recognition and DNA tests were needed in order to confirm their identity. Also, at least 43 passengers were injured while 11 in critical condition. Preliminary evidence suggested that this terrible accident was caused by the explosion of a portable stove as some passengers illegally cooked food on board the train. Such use of gas stoves is unfortunately common on Pakistan's railway and the authorities often turn a blind eye to this dangerous practice. This train accident was deadliest in Pakistan since 2005 when the Ghatki rail crash killed more than 100 people. For the end, we would like to say a few things. First, we would like to express our regret for all victims who died in these and all other rail accidents. After all, they are not only numbers as it might wrongfully seem in these kinds of videos. They all were humans who are still missed by their families. Second, even though deadly and terrible rail accidents occasionally happen, caused by different reasons, sometimes by the failure of the systems and sometimes by some external out-of-control factors, in general railways still remain one of the safest and for us most beautiful mode of transport. Thank you very much for your attention, as always, we hope you enjoyed and learned something new about the railways of the world. Don't forget to like this video and for more interesting railway stories, subscribe to Railways Explained. Goodbye.